What it do, homies? We're back here with some more Lydia the Bard. This time we're checking out the Tinkerbell villain song. I have read the description. Let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. You gotta get Wendy out of there. Ooh, I love that bass, the brass. Do what you've got yourself into Fly for a night And think the world's made for you Well, I tried too hard to see All of my work come undone Better grow some wings real fast I see the way they look at you With tears in their eyes Soon they'll start to dream of Different lives Well, I won't let you tempt them They are mine to protect No use reminding them Of the past the way that Lydia is singing here, it's kind of it kind of reminds me of like poison. You know what I mean? Like like uh like like that song Fever, where you're kind of just talking like you like you about to do something, like you just just this bad person, right? This this diva of malicious intent. I love that. The way that she's expressing herself, it really helps sell the story, really helps make the character come alive. And to protect, no use reminding them of the past. You don't seem to quite understand what is at stake. This messed up little family that I had to make. If I could let them all go home, please know that I would. But it is just more haunting God. So why don't you fall? Fall, little Wendy Bird, fall. Why don't you fall? It's nothing personal, it's a necessary ball. Why don't you fall? Fall, little Wendy Bird, fall. Oh my goodness. Oh, this, correct me if I'm wrong, this has to be some of the, the, the bassiest that I have ever heard any of Lydia songs. Yo, this could easily be something that Billy William Eyelash or Billy El Bill, Billy Elias Elias Eyelash Billy she could probably this this what this sounds like like a, some type of tin Timberland bake uh, uh beat I can't even form my words right I am a I'm a big time lover of bass heavy music and this is the least thing I was expecting of course it makes those fall and do you use it in the lower register to signify the the depths of which you have to fall and it's not just the bass that's playing but it's sliding down oh this gotta be one of my one of my favorite instrumentals from you come on now the bass slides fall, Andy, but fall. And the brass some would say I'm quick to rage and maybe they're right But I can say for once I'm thinking clearly tonight Wendy darling you have hit the wrong out of fight I will protect what is mine And what I love about this story is that it's completely understandable, right? If you were put into Tinkerbell's position as stated in the description, she thought and thought and thought of different type of ways to see if they can coexist without the need for humans. This is the only logical explanation that she can that she come come to, right? So you would do the same thing, right? It's believable. A nasty little spark that must be small that's snuffed out. Set in fires inside my house is just not allowed. If Eric right, Embers, beautiful. So why don't you fall? Fall, little Wendy Bird, fall. Why don't you fall? Fall, little Wendy Bird, fall. Like a mermaid. Swear it's nothing personal, it's necessary. And we're seeing, God, this instrumental is so good. And we're seeing um, her her deepest like fears come to life, right? Because obviously Peter has fallen for Wendy. So if you start trying to hurt her, this is exactly what she was against, right? Helping him grow up, 
finding love because then you're going to want to go off with Wendy. So ah, man, it's like a lose lose battle right here, because even if she does attempt at doing something to Wendy, then that's just going to cause hatred on Peter's side. Right. And then you're back to square one. So this is might be a might be an impossible battle uh, for Tinkerbell. Slather. Why don't you fall, 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 slip your mind. You need three things to fly. Let's see you try when I remove mine. Why don't you This gotta be one of your most. Oh, you didn't. Oh no. She, she did it. And I see there at the beginning when she was kind of reminiscing on the time that she uh, was born, when Peter Pan was born, right? Re recalling those memories, reminding herself why she needs to fight for her existence. And it looks like, see, this right here, it kind of looks like it was pushing Wendy. I believe that's Wendy, right? But in the next frame, it shows Peter. Now, I can look at this in two ways. Peter sees it. You can look at this two ways. So Peter, right? She she sees that once she does this, she might lose Peter. So while she's looking at Wendy fall onto what appears to be a spike, she also sees the loss of of Peter as well. Or of course, this is Peter seeing what's about to happen and crying. This was masterful. Oh my goodness, this musical is going in like one of my top three Lydia the Bard songs at all. Uh, Antony, good animated, anim animatic. I can't, can't even get my words right. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Dave's out.